Right, so people in the comments have been asking me for a 100k squad. Now, I, I'm not too sure how you only have 100k at this point in the FIFA unless you've literally only just picked up FIFA. If you do only have 100k at this point, you're doing something wrong. I'm sorry to say it, but that is the, that is the truth. You, you are definitely doing something wrong if you only have 100k coins at this point. Uh, but yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure, under 100k. I'm, I, if my maths are correct, I'm pretty sure this is... Is it... I think it is. I'm pretty sure. I'll put the price anyway on the screen. Anyway, well, I'll add it up after this video and stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is under 100k though. We've got Remy Cabela and we got Inform CO as well. Now, they both look okay. I've already played one game with them. Let's just say it didn't really go too well. Uh, but yeah, I've already played one game with them. I tried it in uh, in online single matches. Well, not online single matches. Divisions. Sorry, online seasons. Division 1. Uh, it didn't go too well. So I'm going to play single matches. The in-game stats are actually pretty decent for both these players. Like for considering their they are discard informs, low rated informs, they aren't too bad. Especially this CO, he's got pretty nice stats if you ask me. Remy Cabela as well. I'm hoping his attacking positioning doesn't affect him. He's got nice agility and all stuff like that. Ball control 78. That's pretty low to be fair. But uh, yeah, the rest of his stats, you know, his shooting doesn't look too bad. Passing looks okay. You know, let's just get into a game anyway. Custom tactics. As you can see, they've not changed from the last video. Also, player instructions, game behind, press back line on the front too. Stay forward on the cam, stay back while attacking on the centre centre mid. Everything else is unbalanced. Let's get into a game anyway, hopefully we can win some games. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Oh, why Why does he have to have a good team? <laughs> why, why does he have to have a good team? It's so, you know, I want an easy game. Like, my team in comparison to this team. It's just not fair. He's also got Naby Keita, so I'm assuming he's going to switch Luis Hernandez and Naby Keita. That's a, that's a great ball. I don't know who the hell... I think it's Remy Cabela, actually, on the corners. And he's that CEO. He's, he's that CEO who's just finished that with the header. Please tell me it is. That, that's, that's great, that. First goal of the video, and it's Remy Cabela and CEO linking up from the corner. I think it is, you know. I'm pretty sure that is CEO. I'll see you in a sec. There we go. It's Giovanni CEO. Yes, come on, son. Oh, that's well played. Well played by him. I should have expected it. That's it, Cabela. Great ball over to Dalbert. Let's go. Yes, rebound. Disgusting. Rebounds are just ridiculous on this game, aren't they? You do a lot of driven from any sort of angle, it just rebounds out to your player. It's just, it's stupid, but it was a good ball out by uh, Remy Cabela to, to Dalbert, who then... Obviously got the rebound for the goal. But yeah, like, that's a nice ball. That's why you don't have your players, well, your fullbacks on the stay back. Because when you're in a tight situation like that, they will overlap at the right time and it's just perfect. What a ball. Oh my god, I did not even expect that to get it, get through. And that's a red card. See you later. That has to be a red card. Surely. I'm through on goal. There we go. I was going to say, it had to be a red card. Oh, come on, Cabela, please. Oh, my God, he is awful. He is shocking. Oh, no. It's a GG. Cabela, this is your moment, Cabela. No, you are so bad. <laughs> come on, CR, you can make up for it. Yes. Remy Cabela, guys. He's so bad. He just... Oh, he's awful. So, so bad. I will tell the free to win, but guys, this this team is such a struggle to play with. Let's see what team this guy has. At least it's not as good as the last one, to be fair. It's a, it's a standard Premier League team, basic chem styles. He's got Hoiberg, is that, is that how you pronounce it? Hoiberg at cam. That's interesting. Remy. See ya. Come on, Remy. That's it. Beautiful. Over to Seal. Seal. Do you know what? Seal's so much better than Remy. He really is. Like he, he's got a bit of strength about him. He's got a bit of pace. You know, he's got a bit of, got a bit of everything really. Because his dribbling's not too bad either. And he's got. I know he's got good passing stats as well. Because well, you can tell in game that his passing isn't too bad. And that's a decent finish. Seal. Come on. Oh wow. Okay. Low driven. I, I didn't expect that to go in, if I'm honest. 
Once this seal gets going, honestly, he's like a tank. Once, oh my god, that is, I, I apologise. I apologise to Ali G. <laughs> he's giving tank actually, Ali G. That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, this seal, when he gets going, is an absolute tank. I got a bit fortunate there, but he's like a, he's like a steam train. He's, he's ridiculous. He's, so, he's, he's a bit like Lukaku, if you know what I mean. Like, his body type, like, once he gets going, once he gets up to top speed, He's gone. The guy rage quit 3-0. I'm really not surprised. He did get some unlucky bounces during that game, to be fair to him. Especially that last goal as well. But, um, yeah, we'll get into one last final game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has for the last and final game. It's not too bad. It's pretty interesting, actually. I like this. It's it's something different, you know. It's something different. When when someone's using something different, I, I, I like it. I enjoy it. Because it's just not your typical Prem sweat. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Cabela. Oh, my God. He scored. He scored, guys. He scored. He did something good. He did something. Oh, my God. Can't believe it. The heel to heel flick was very, very nice. He comes out of, to be fair, he's dribbling in terms of coming out of skill moves and stuff because he's so agile. He's very, very nice. Like, look how quick he does this heel to heel flick. He's just gone. And to be fair, it's an awful strike. But it's even worse goalkeeping. So that's the only reason I've scored there is because his goalkeeper just palms it into the back of the net. Just otherwise, it'd just be a solid hand away because it's such an awful attempt. Oh, nice, Sia. Go on. With your right foot. Oh, wow. Do you know what this this Sia like? He's nothing incredible. Like he's not a wow. Like he doesn't wow you, but it's it's done all right. <laughs> he feels all right in game. He actually does. When he gets going, like, that's that's his three-star weak foot there. And he's just placed it into the bottom corner just inside the post. That's a cracking finish. No, Henderson <laughs> with his weaker foot. Fair enough. Uh, I, I do feel like that should have been intercepted ages ago. But, you know, I, I, I really need to stop complaining about the interceptions. But it just bugged me when you put your player in the path of the pass and he just doesn't let you intercept the ball. Now that, that, I just, that should not be going in. <laughs> but it is what it is. That just, that definitely shouldn't be going in. Oh, Cabela. Can you make up for some previous missed one-on-ones? He can. He's turning up a little bit during the last game. It's typical, isn't it? The last game is when he decides to actually be somewhat decent. And he actually decides to finish a one-on-one. -on -one. Short free kicks are ridiculous. To be fair, I do them all the time. But short free kicks, it's like your players just turn off. They just switch up. Like, look at this. My player, like, it, it, that player there, I don't know who it is, but he's just done an auto lunge. That's it, Seal. Good turn. Finish it. Get in there. Absolutely fantastic, Seal. Honestly, it's, it's been pretty good. It reminds me so much of Lukaku. Yeah, he, he, I don't know what it is. It's just his body typing game. He's quite stocky. Uh, it feels like a tank, to be honest. Like when he's, do you know, when he runs from goal, when he gets up to top speed, as I said before, he just feels like he's so powerful. And then obviously he's left footed, so that just reminds me a little bit of Lukaku as well. Oh, beautiful Remy. Back to Remy. Let's get him a goal. Go on, son. You ran the play there, to be fair. He literally just. Ran the show there up, up on that counter attack, just did everything. Heel to heel flick, did a nice little roulette, played it out to Mbappe, go back into the space to be able to finish it off. Oh, it's a it's a good play. It's a good play by him. Go on, Seal. Go on, lad. Oh, <laughs> he had Rooney on his shoulder there, and he still manages to slide into the net. I like that. I did, I really do like that. Just a nice little roulette, get it onto his left foot, low driven across goal. I will take the 6-4 win. All I'm going to say is I am glad that is over. To be honest, I think it's just that I'm drained off FIFA. I've recorded like four videos today, honestly, and every single video I've played like at least three games, so... Yeah, I've played too much FIFA today. So would I recommend these two informs? Now, all I'm going to say is if you don't have many coins, if, you, if you're really, really tight on coins and you're... You only have, say, 10k for an informed cam. I would probably go with... I'd probably go with this Remy Cabela. I'm going to be honest, like, 
he is bad. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's good. But he's 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 a discard info, and he is. You get what you expect from a discard info. He's not. I keep saying he's bad, but he's not. He's he's okay. He is nothing spectacular. But if you are on a very tight budget and you don't have many coins, I would say go ahead and get this guy. But there's a lot of negatives to him. First off. Is attacking positioning now it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be but it's still uh, it's still a bit iffy finishing wise he seems shocking I'm gonna be honest shocking finishing wise he just he really couldn't finish for me now sh long shots and stuff I didn't really get a chance to test passing wise is good I have no problems with his passing passing wise he's absolutely fine dribbling wise now he's dribbling is amazing he's so quick to turn with however well, not amazing, but you know, it's it's okay. Uh, it's just his ball control, his first touch, his first touch lets him down so much because it, it takes so long to get the ball under his control. So you're trying to turn with him to use that 96 agility, which to be fair, you can feel that in game. He's very, very quick to turn with. And so you're trying to turn, but he just takes a little while to, to register the turn because he's not actually got the ball under control. And so ball control is a big part of dribbling, I think, in terms of first touch and stuff. You can have, like, massive agility. You can have 99 agility, 99 balance. But it's just, if, if you don't have good enough ball control, it's going to affect you. Because, like I said, it takes a while to register to turn. Because you've not got the ball fully under your spell. Now, strength-wise, don't even think about it. Don't even try it. He is so weak. If someone sneezes on him, he has lost the ball. It's as simple as that. Now, see, I'm going to move on to him. Now, do you know what? That that's actually flatters him. Eight goals in three games. That actually really does flatter him. I don't think... He is good. He is, he's alright. But he's not amazing. You know, he's a discard in form. I try not to hype him up too much because... Not many discard in forms like Seal, like Remy Cabela are that good, to be fair. There's some players you can get which are much better than them. But Seal is okay. He's nothing more than okay. Pace-wise, he does take a long time to get going. Like, but once he gets in his stride, he's gone. Like he, like I said, he reminds me of Lukaku. Once he gets in his stride, he's like a steam train. It's just he does take a while to get going. Position-wise, I didn't really have too much of a problem with him. He's got high-low work rates as well. So positioning-wise, I didn't really have many issues. Finishing-wise, he actually felt pretty good. I, I didn't really miss many chances with him. You know, shot power-wise, it felt pretty good as well. It felt really powerful when I was doing... Those low drivens across goal. Passing wise, linking up play, I had no problems with him because I've said it before. If you've got like 80 shot passing and 80 vision like this guy has, it is just so easy to do quick one twos, and that's all you really need to do with a striker. Now, dribbling wise, he is a he's a little hard to get used to. Like he's he is a little clunky. I know his agility is 87, so you wouldn't think he's clunky, but I don't know. It's, it is pretty difficult to dribble with him at times. He, like I said, he's, he reminds me of Lukaku, and that's the reason why. His, his dribbling, his agility feels better than Lukaku's, obviously, but his dribbling just doesn't feel that great, just like Lukaku. And also, strength-wise and physical-wise, he actually feels so much stronger than 79, uh, 76 strength, in my opinion. That's the reason he, he reminded me so much of Lukaku again. It's because he felt so strong, he felt like a tank, and he's built in-game really stocky like Lukaku. And so that's, that's why, when I was playing with him, I was just like... Am I playing with Lukaku or Seal here? He is a bit like a cheap Lukaku, if I'm going to be completely honest. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. Twitter, so down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.